I have so many helpers right now. Hey, it's your girl Andrea, and we're gonna talk about our calving vaccination protocol and all the good stuff that happens when we get a new calf, going along with tagging, banding, all that good stuff. So, without further ado, let's talk about how we keep these little ladies and gents healthy as they come into the world. Every calf, and I'll walk you through exactly what we do when we tag, but I wanna talk about it a little bit with some context. Every calf is going to be processed at birth. Red. <laughs> Just trying to lick my phone. Okay, so every single calf is going to get the same process at birth. It differs a little bit between heifers and bull calves, but otherwise the rest of it is the same. So they're all going to get a tag that matches their mom. It'll be the same color. So we have some different herds in here. So for example, mine, my husband cattle um, have blue tags. So my calves are going to have a blue tag that matches their mom. My parents have red and then our new cows are either yellow or orange. So we'll match the calves to them with the same number. And they also get an electronic ID tag. That way um, we can track their progress as they move through the feedlot, get a weaning weight, yearling weight, all that good stuff ready to gain as they move through. Okay, so in addition to the tags at birth, the calves are also going to be banded if they are a bull calf. This is easier on everyone involved. I'm a big fan of banding, banding calves at birth just because you don't have any issues with inbreeding down the road. You don't have to worry about any of your heifers getting bred accidentally. And also it's just easier on the calf itself at a couple days old versus six months old later on down the road. So that's something we do. It's just something that's easy because we already have our hands on them. They're already being processed. Just get her done. Big fan of that. We spray their navels with iodine to prevent any sort of navel infection. It's just a little bit of a, a cheap insurance you can use. I have so many helpers right now. So tame. So tame. Outside of tagging, banding, spraying the navel, getting an approximate birth weight with a weight tape, we also have a set vaccination protocol in place. And this is something that's been developed with the help of our veterinarian. So make sure that if you have cattle, you're actually going and having a conversation with that vet so you have that relationship because everyone's environment, herd is going to be a little bit different. And this is just what works really well for us and what we prefer. So first up, we have our Bovillis um, Vision C, D, and T with Spur. So the Spur is just an added agent that reduces the likelihood of a vaccine reaction. Um, this one is just for tetanus since we do ban our calves at birth. We don't want to deal with tetanus. It's not fun. <laughs> um, and it's just a really nice little solid option for that. Next up is Bovillus Vision 7 with Spur. This is the good old black leg, et cetera, vaccination. Um, we do have black leg around here in our soil. We have had, have had our issues with it, which is why we have this in place. We've been using this vaccination ever since I was probably a kid. Like I remember this name <laughs> for a reason. We was always used it and it's done really well for us. So that's another one. And then last but not least, this is probably one of my favorites. It's bright blue is the Bovillus Nasogen 3 PMH. So this one um, is actually an intranasal vaccination. These are sub Q. So this one, they're not even getting poked, which is better for everyone involved. Um, one less poke on them. They're not going to have a reaction to like another vaccination in the skin. This one goes in their nasal. So one cc per nostril, super easy. It's dyed blue. That way you can ensure you got it. Um, you'll see in this video, I actually missed the first one. I could easily tell because the blue was on like my coat. It wasn't in the calf's nose. Um, but this one just hits all of your BRD, bovine respiratory disease components. So we also use it at weaning. It's just a really great um, overall BRD vaccination. So that is our vaccination protocol. Like I said, make sure you have that conversation with your veterinarian. So it's what you need for your operation and your cattle. But love these. They've done great things for us. And it keeps these little babies healthy and that's the goal because they're born without immune system they need that boost in any way we can give them that jump start that edge to take on whatever is thrown at them with stress and all the fun stuff that spring weather can do this is just the added boost to give them that best possible start that we can it's all so, okay perfect all right so first up is the bovellus nasogen 3 pmh it's blue it's an intranasal i love it because it is an intranasal so you need one less poke for them and it gets oh. See, now I can tell I missed because I blew in my shirt. Got her. <laughs> then we have our Bovillus, Bovillus Vision CD and T. Uh, for the tetanus, since we banned bull calves and all that good stuff with tetanus. And then this is Bovillus Vision 7 with spur. So that's your seven way protection, black leg, all of the goods. Hello, you're skunky. I'm glad to help. You. I got him two tags. Matches mom. And then an EID tag. <laughs> Two tags. Then we do a weight tape and it's a heifer, so we'll put it on the heifer side. 72 pounds. 
And if it's a bull calf, we will band and then we also spray the navels with iodine and that's basically, in a nutshell, what we do. And now you're gonna lay down nice, huh? Bam, done. And then we go back to mom. Next time, Larry and I will see you then. We just gotta keep this little guy healthy. It's what we need in our life. Helps them out, helps us out, helps the calves out. Healthy calves, give them the best start possible. That's the name of our game.